My name's Daniel Little, currently 23 years old, and I'm ranked 1,400 ATP. I started probably around eight or nine years old, um, and then I probably even started playing competitively tennis around, around 10. I remember playing like under 10, under 10 nationals um, at the time. It was quite, felt like a big deal at that, at that moment. Um, and then I, I progressed all the way through. I, I went and I played, uh, moved, moved when I was quite young um, to Loughborough at the age of about 12. I was living away from home, playing competitively there for for two years um, and ended ultimately in, in winning under 14 nationals. So I was always kind of towards the top end uh, as, as juniors in my age groups. So I was doing lots of kind of LTA camps or trips and things like that um, when I was 14. And then I moved to Bath at the age of 14 uh, where I was for four years. So once again, I was, I was living away from home um, with, where I'm based in, in East Sussex. So was away in Bath for four years, um, highlights in terms of results, made final of, of under-16 nationals, was playing a lot of tennis Europe during these times, under-14s, under-16s, um, moved into ITFs a lot as well um, and got up to a ranking inside the top 200 um, before my final year, where unfortunately the, my whole final year was pretty much washed out due to, uh, due to injury. But yeah, a lot of movement, um, living away from home from the age of about about 12 through two years Loughborough, four years in Bath. Um, and yeah, like I was always kind of near the top maybe of my, my age group up until about 17 or so. I, I did have a long term injury. So that's kind of was my journey up until I went to college. Uh, I kind of always had in my, my head that I was going to go to American University since I was pretty young, actually, probably even as, as young as kind of 14 or 15. I, I always just enjoyed the team aspect. And from what I saw from people who were already there, I really wanted to, to be out there. And, and so I always kind of prioritized going to America rather than, than playing pro or, or going to an English university. Um, and so I didn't really have any other thoughts in my mind. It wasn't really a, a decision. It was just kind of figuring out when, where I wanted to go and, and how I wanted to do it. Um, and so probably, I think around 16 or so is when I started to got, got in contact with, with Sarah Borwell and, and became part of, of Tennis Smart. And we kind of, she, she helped a lot in trying to figure out where I wanted to go and, and the process of it, because it is an extremely complicated process. It's one that at first I wasn't aware of. Um, and especially having gone to America now, it was, it's amazing how after just being out there for a year, you have so much more information on universities and, and how blind you are before you've effectively gone out there um, to America. So, yeah, I always kind of had my eyes on, on America. Um, and then once I started the process with Sarah, obviously had lots of different messages, different universities. I tried to, th with the help of Sarah, try and get... Um, like segment a part of what I wanted, whether like where I wanted a certain academic level or a certain athletic level, um, like ten and obviously scholarship is also a part of that. Um, definitely something which you have to consider what type of budget you want. Um, and so it's great to be able to have her to try and help you as she obviously knows a lot more about the universities. Um, so ultimately, I, after speaking to a lot of different places, uh, I went on a visit. And I visited uh, one in New Orleans, one in Florida, and one in uh, Utah. And then after visiting the three, um, I decided to go to the University of Utah, partly due to the um, conference that they were in. It, there was a big difference in the facilities, which isn't always the be all and end all, but there was certainly a difference. And what they, the standard they expected and the competition they were against was certainly a big reason for that. But the visit itself was great. It was amazing. Like got treated very well, um, went from one, went through all three places in a week, uh, was able to see so much and also just get a, a kind of experience for it. It's definitely not the full experience because they are trying to obviously treat you, but it was very important for me to go on the visit so that when I went back to Utah in a few months time, I had an idea of, of what I was going for. Um, and then, yeah, that was certainly what I, like the whole road that led up to me uh, picking Utah. So yeah, once once I started at, uh, at Utah, obviously it was a huge cultural shift for me. Um, 
I probably underestimated how big a change it would be given that I'd already lived away from home, for example, for multiple years, but I was actually surprised at the, how much I struggled with it at first. Um, definitely the first year was, was tough. I was trying to figure out where I was and, and kind of getting into tennis. And there's just, it was a very different system to what I was used to in England. Um, and I know like I, I was speaking to Sarah at the time and stuff and, and it was always kind of on my mind whether another place would have been better. Um, but luckily, like looking back on it now, luckily I, I held on and I stayed there. Um, and after the first year, uh, I was able to to start to get used to it a lot more, uh, enjoy, really enjoyed the experience. Um, and that came along with probably my tennis improving as well. Uh, a lot of issues I had at the start were focused on injuries. I, I struggled a lot physically at the start out there. They, it was it was a tough regime that I, I wasn't quite used to, um, so I was out for a few months. But once I was able to to get on court a lot more, I did I did enjoy it and I loved the team aspect and all the matches. Um, and so that kind of led going into my second and third year, like was playing high up on a on a team that was playing the best teams in the country. So I was in the I was in the best position I, I wanted. That was what I wanted to come to college for. Was playing loads of top guys who would then almost like we played a lot of the top teams in the country regularly like year in year out and it was great for me to challenge myself against them uh, even from the my first year I was I was high up in the lineup like I, I didn't play below kind of two or three so it was really good to have that early on so that as I progressed through college I kind of knew what the level was um, so then I in my third year I started to to get own, my own like individual accolades as well as the team improving um, and was able to kind of play big tournaments like all Americans for singles and things like this and, and make the main draw of these events and, and beat top players, which was which was great. And not only that was uh, the program as a whole at Utah. When I first went there, we were ranked um, maybe 70 or 80 and kind of part of a rebuild process. And then in our third year, we made the, the NCAA team event, which is the top kind of you have to be ranked or so like time 40 45 which was huge for us uh, it was just something that hadn't happened for 25 25 years I think so it was a major achievement and it, was, it felt incredible to be a part of that and was a, a, a great like advocate as to why we kind of went there and we were all felt very involved with the process um, and so was able to make that as, as a team my third and my fourth year and as that happened, I was also playing better myself, like individually playing number one and being some guys. And then I was luckily enough able in my last year to make the, the NCAA singles tournament uh, through being ranked in the, in the top 45 or so. So I was able to play that, which was an incredible experience and something that I wanted to do to finish off college. Um, and yeah, that was, that was an incredible way to end it, to make it as a team and, and in singles as well. And it was, it almost felt at the end that it was the perfect full circle. And it's crazy to think now that I'm still even playing like professionally, I'm sure Sarah might believe be the same when I was messaging her at the start of college, I was, I was struggling a lot and I honestly would never have foreseen that I'd actually be wanting to move on uh, and keep playing. And so as I kind of was in my last year, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and was, was going to and fro whether I wanted to try and play pro or go to university. A lot of people kind of stay in America and do, and do a master's there. And then luckily my uh, a teammate of mine, Joe, who, who's also with me, he he told me about the experience at Nottingham and, and who he knows through their, through training there previously. Um, and I was able to speak to Nottingham. I spoke to Durham as well and, and a couple of English universities. And it, it opened my eyes as to the opportunities that are available there. Something that I really didn't know. Um, and I definitely didn't know before I went to American University was how much they can actually offer and how good the facilities are. Um, and so once figuring that out and spoke to the coach at, at Nottingham as well as well as Durham, I eventually uh, decided on on Nottingham and that they um, were able to supply different scholarships, which was fantastic. And, and it is definitely the English University route is definitely on the way up. Um, and so I went to joined Nottingham last September uh, and I, I've got to say I've really enjoyed it obviously it has been cut short so I only was there probably six or seven months but it's been it's it's been really good for me I, I've definitely enjoyed it and I, I think everyone who is kind of around like us in our like first team area like we all we've all had such a good time with it and it's the level is is a lot better than maybe I first would have expected um, 
So all of the people, like I was playing at the number one position, all of the number ones in the other universities all have ATP rankings. They're all trying to play futures, all similar to, to myself and trying to go out and play pro tournaments. So it's a great kind of platform to, to and level that I didn't expect. Um, and there's a lot more freedom that I had with regards to training that was that was perfect for my kind of style. So it worked it works really well. Um, and it's definitely something which is on the up by the, by the looks of recent years at English university. Um, and so it's definitely something that if it was at this stage, maybe when I was first looking at American college, like I definitely would have considered this option. Currently, uh, I'm finishing up my master's degree at Nottingham. I have a dissertation over the summer. Uh, ideally right now I would love to be abroad and, and trying to play some pro tournaments. I haven't, been able to play any futures uh, abroad yet, just just in England. But I'm trying to start the pro pro circuit, um, which is obviously difficult, and I'll need to figure out how I want to approach it. But it was something that I definitely wanted to do um, in the past couple of years. I've, I've always wanted to do that, and obviously I've gone. I went to Nottingham first because I thought that that would also help my game, uh, and I believe it has. And so now I'm ready to kind of put put myself out there full time um, whilst also all of the things that I've done in the last few years in terms of getting a degree soon hopefully I'll have a master's unless it all goes wrong um, I've been also working um, I've worked for IBM the past few years uh, during the summers at, at Wimbledon I've, and also working in a family business to do with engineering um, so I've kind of tried to make sure that Obviously, with sports, it can it can go wrong very quickly, and I, I'm aware of that. There's injuries, there's different circumstances that can come up, and so I'm trying to trying to have make sure I've got my bases covered because I understand that something like this could happen, and if that does happen, I have something to fall back on. Um, and so the ideal aim would obviously to be go to go and, and play pro, and you just fly up the rankings, and then you can you know live off off that for the rest of your career. But I know that that sometimes isn't the case. So what I'm I'm pleased with what I've kind of done in the past that's kind of set me up to to have a go at pro tennis and know that if it doesn't work out, I still have something to fall back on. Um, and so that is definitely something that I would encourage um, others to do and, and make sure and maybe not be completely um, like tunnel vision to the idea of pro tennis because there is a lot that can change with it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I certainly am, am happy with what I've kind of built upon. But now I would love to go and play for pro tennis and, and give myself a real chance over the next year or so and, and play a lot of tournaments, hopefully injury free and, and see where I can get to.